So tonight we're making pasta carbonara. <laughs> Carbonara? Carbonara? Oh, that's right. It's carbonara. The whole video on that we, yeah. we made. No, now we know 100% it's carbonara. Not carbonara, not the carbonara effect, mm -hmm. but pasta carbonara. This is the pancetta we're gonna use. We were trying to find, what is it? Ja no. Guancali, Guancal. Is that the cheek of the pig, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We were trying to find the exact, like, meat that Italians use that is the like most we were doing research well mainly you you were doing the most research on trying to figure out how to do pasta carbonara exactly like authentic Italian style and instead we're gonna use this um the second Italian pancetta and this was hard to find too yeah apparently we went to Whole Foods right fresh oh no we went to, no, Whole, we went Foods to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's yeah. And then we went to Graziano's Market, which was in um, Coral Gables. Yeah. Let's see. So we did this dish once so far, and it worked out. So this is our second time trying this. And he's kind of the expert here, and I'm just going to, like, tag along. Let's see. Pretend that I know what I'm doing. What do you want? You want to be in the camera? It's Vlogmas. Vlogmas day. Seven, right? Yes. All right. <laughs> this pancetta seems difficult to cut maybe I'm either using the wrong knife yeah either we don't have a good knife, sharp enough, or, I don't know. or it's just a lot harder to cut if you have been following our channel for a while we started filming a lot of videos back in the day of us cooking blue apron and all these type of meals and now it's like we've upgraded into our own decisions when it comes to what what to cook so it's like throwback to old cooking videos I mean most of our food is Pretty simple though. But we learned a lot from those cooking yes. subscription boxes. Doing those subscription boxes like Blue Apron, HelloFresh. We tried like a bunch. You mean to learn <laughs> how to... To learn how to kind of like start feeling confident about cooking and not just cooking the same thing always and trying to branch out and trying different things and learning about spices and how to salt things and all there's of that. A lot to learn. I know. There's still so much to learn like, but it's... It does, it did feel like a whole year of us doing those subscription boxes really helped us kind of get like a foundation of like understanding how to. We're not being afraid to go into the kitchen and, you know, experiment or try something new. Yeah. So here we have, this is, Home Chef gave us this binder, but this is going to be a mix of different, um, it's not just Home Chef. So a lot of these are Home Chef, but let me, let me see. I think we have two binders. Yeah, we got two. Over here is Blue Apron. This was one of the first, I remember this this uh, grilled chicken ramen thing was one of the first meals we ever made like through a Blue Apron. And over here is Plated. So that's another one that we tried out. We even tried Peach Dish. Here's more Blue Apron. We did HelloFresh for a while as well. I would say Hello HelloFresh is up there with Home Chef and Blue Apron. Plated was good too, though I will say it's it's they're all good, they're honestly. All good. They all have their they're, things. That's plated again. Oh, we even did munchies, remember? <laughs> oh, chef or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was under the. It's under chef, and that was the. This was from the uh, Maddie Matheson recipe, and yeah, as you can see, we've we've saved a lot of them because that's how many we've done and. And I'm sure there were some that we didn't even save, so that's a lot of recipes. And this is the pasta we're going to be using for the pancetta. Bucatini number 15, apparently. I don't know. We just chose this one because apparently for pancetta, you want to use thick pasta, right? Not thick spaghetti. Thick. Not too to thick. like spaghetti, but like a thicker spaghetti. All right, the water's boiling and got to put the pasta in. Whoa. I think that's enough for the two of us. It's so difficult to know with pasta. Yeah. Because it's like, it looks like nothing right now. I guess let's just start with that and then we can add more if anything. Let's just add a little more. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm i okay with more. <laughs> so now we're going to let it boil for six minutes. And I guess we'll test it out and see. So a big part of pancetta is the eggs. So I believe... Pancetta. Hell? Sorry. <laughs> a big part of pasta carbonara is having eggs. So we got our pancetta here, we got the eggs, we got the pasta. What else do you need for pasta carbonara? Um, is there anything like else involved? 
Oh yeah. Pecorino cheese, which also is basically Parmesan cheese. Let me grab that. It's not Parmesan. We actually have Pecorino cheese from Whole Foods, but it's almost the same as Parmesan, so Parmesan would work as well. And the last one, could you just use only the... The yolk? Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be hard. What are you... Oh, no. All right, never mind. <laughs> the hardest thing is to not use the egg whites. It's so much easier to use just egg whites. Right. Whatever. <laughs> what I could do is scoop up some of the egg whites. No, that's, I guess, a little bit. Let me try that. Ow. You just gotta grate some of the pecorino cheese or whatever it is, parmesan. Pecorino. Pecorino. Yeah. Into the eggs. And you're gonna whisk the two together. Do we add anything else? Pepper. Oh, okay. And then you whisk it together. You're almost ready. Should we throw the pasta at the wall? <laughs> is that what they do? What? You never heard of that before? No. That people throw, like, they throw pasta onto the wall, and if it sticks, that's how you know it's ready? I mean, you just... No, don't do that, though. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> that's like no, a that. that's like a trick I've heard about before. This has become an everyday thing for us. Like, every time we're cooking, <laughs> I feel bad because Coco gets scared. Coco! Come on, get out <laughs> He gets scared of the alarm, and I try to open the door before it happens, because if not, he freaks out. But I don't know why smoke always has to... We get smokiness so much so easily. <sighs> Uh-oh. <laughs> the alarm is on. Shoot. Oh, now my... <laughs> the chaos. Now my dad's calling me, freaking out. Oh my god. Everything's okay, don't worry. The door's open, Coco's fine, the alarm stopped. <laughs> Alright, love you. No, I can't find Coco. Oh, there he is. Heads up, there's smoke in the hallway. <laughs> it's okay, the Coco. His the defense mechanism is to go into the bathroom. Like, why? He goes into the dark bathroom. It's okay. I promise. We're good. Just gotta keep doing this. This video is going to be titled, Pasta Cabanara Fail. Look, he's trying to get in the bathtub. What are you doing? It's okay. I've never seen anything scare this dog as much as the fire alarm. Like, thunder, lightning, nothing scares him the way that the lady's voice on that little alarm thing makes him just start shaking and everything like he gets so scared I'm sorry it's okay Coco well it seems like the pancetta is cooked pasta is almost ready yeah and then we got our sauce and it seems like there's no more smoke in the hallway all right so now you're transferring the pasta to the pan and I think we have to use some of the water or something. Yeah. So some of the pasta water gets used. And then at the end we add the egg. So that was a little bit too much pasta, right? Nah. That's, it's fine. But what are you going to do to get the water from one thing to the next? No, that's too messy. Don't do that. And then, like, what's the trick? Like, how do you know how much water to add? I'm not sure. This is my second time doing it. But the first time, what did you do I to... I just kept adding water until I saw like a, a creaminess to it. Like a, a white cream de developed. Okay. I don't see it this time though. Well, maybe because you need to add more? I don't know. Those noodles are like pad thai noodles almost, right? Not pad thai, like udon noodles. So why are you taking the temperature? Uh, I don't want the eggs to scramble when I put it in. So what's the temperature that it should be at? And also, uh, like, 65 or something. Okay. It's like the perfect temperature. Because then the eggs don't get, they get cooked still, so you're not eating raw eggs. Right. Because the weird thing about pasta carbonara is that the actual sauce is the eggs, but like... And you don't really cook it too you much. You don't cook them all the way, but you also don't have them raw. It's like weird in between.
does look good though. All right. Oh. Looks nice. See ya. And that was quick. How long was that in total? Maybe 30 minutes. All right, and then now add a little bit of extra pecorino on the top. We've got pasta carbonara. Don't do that. <laughs> and a little bit more black pepper. Fancy. All right, so this is our second time trying this, and this time it's a little different. We got different noodles, and we got different types of we got a different type of pancetta, but hopefully it tastes just as legit. <laughs> Well, it tastes delicious. I haven't even tried the pancetta yet. Did you salt the pancetta? The or water. Oh, the, it was the water. There's like a, like a nice saltiness to it. It's not an overwhelming. Well, pancetta is quite salty, right? Yeah. But it's like a nice saltiness. It's like that little hint of an extra. Mm. <laughs> Pecorino is really salty. Oh yeah, that's true. Good job. <laughs> now I think maybe to make it better, next time I get a smaller noodle. Yeah, I think right? the like thinner noodles spaghetti. would be funner. I mean, I like this thing. It's different. Other chefs online, they mix pecorino and parmesan okay. together. Last time we did it, we did pancetta from Trader, Trader Joe's. Joe's. Pre and it was like the the pre-chopped tiny version of pancetta, so I like that this version is, you know, bigger pieces. Well, I'd like to get one kali next time. Well, try maybe you should try it. <laughs> try her making pasta carbonara one day. It's a fun. It's a fun idea.